No one likes dealing with stems. I've created a template that automatically prints out stems in real time. Here's how to do it. So this can be done in any DAW, as far as I know, but for this video, we're just gonna be working with Cubase. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the audio connections menu. And here we'll create individual buses for each stem that we wanna print out in real time. I've created strings, brass, percussion, choir, and effects. The most important thing here is that you set each bus as not connected. Otherwise, you'll get a double signal and everything will be twice as loud when you bounce. Next, we will create audio tracks for each bus. These tracks will be printing the stems out when it's time. Now we have to set each corresponding bus that we created earlier as the audio input for these newly created audio tracks. Let's create the actual tracks it'll be making music with. Make an instrument track. Load up whichever strings patch you use the most. Title it Strings. Copy this track in parentheses. And then go to the Audio Sends. Click on the Strings bus. So when we are playing the Strings instrument track, and we go down to monitor the string stem track, we can see that there's a signal. Monitoring the brass track, for instance, will come up blank, since we want the string's audio to be sent only to the string stem output track. Do this for each corresponding bus. Now you'll have five tracks. The effects track I've kept as an audio track, as I usually use it for raw audio that I import or I take from the media bay. The minimalistic element of the template is that you start up with only one track for every corresponding stem output, but duplicate the strings track, for instance, and you can use another instrument in the strings category and still keep its audio send to the string stem output. Putting copy this track in parentheses helps me remind myself to duplicate the track and not create a new one to save myself time and trouble. All right, I'll make a quick little piece of music to test the template. A few seconds, please. Ah, I want to put on a string melody. I can make a new instrument track and configure a send to the strings bus again, but like I explained earlier, we can simply duplicate the track in order to have a new instrument track with the same bus send. No matter how many duplicates I make of the strings track, they will always be routed to the string stem output. Uh, looks like the percussion is being a bit intense for the CPU, so I'm going to render it. It rendered out two tracks instead of one. Go into Render Settings, Render Channel Settings. Now, whenever you want to render MIDI to audio, the rendered track will keep that audio send. To sum up, you're able to duplicate tracks and render them to audio, and both actions should still retain their corresponding audio send. Okay, let's arm the stems folder for recording and print our stems.
As you can see, each stem is properly printed, and we now have our stem separated into different files. The default file names can get really chaotic fast, so I'll rename each file. I usually prefix each file name with stem first, so that I can go into the Cubase project folder and see by alphabetical order all of the files aligned next to each other. From there, you can select them all and compress them or whatever you want. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you've learned from this. Later. Thank <laughs> you.